Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do your weekend love reading for October 21st through the 23rd, 2022, all these 20s. Um, so if you're new to my channel, please do click like, share, and subscribe. And personal reading links are below in the description box. And there's also extended readings available. Um, if you go to my Gumroad account, um, that link is also under the videos. Okay, so be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate for the weekend. Take what fits, leave the rest. And if I didn't say this, please do click like, share, and subscribe. That would be awesome. That would make me very, very happy. All right, so let's take a look at the energy for Friday. You have calling in your soulmate. Move this a little bit. Okay, prayers and affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so Friday's energy. So phone call coming in. I see you talking to someone Friday evening. Um, you're calling them, they're calling you, okay? Uh, this feels like a soulmate energy. Um, you may have been in a position of, you know, praying or hoping to talk to somebody or just asking spirit to bring you someone to connect with at some point in your love life. So I'm definitely picking up some kind of a phone call happening Friday. Could be Friday during the afternoon, lunch, evening, um, phone calls. It could be text, anything from a phone. Okay. Let's take a look and see. Oh, these cards are jumping out. What else do you have here? Okay. Wow. So nine of wands, some of you Sagittarius energy, page of wands is double Sag and wow, page of cups. Wow. <laughs> Friday looks fiery. Oh my goodness. Let me just tell you, Virgo, what is going on here? Uh, Gemini for some. Okay. And I'm just calling out some signs. It doesn't have to be passion, enthusiasm, and curiosity on the phone. There's definitely a soulmate connection. Now for some, I mean, it's a love reading, but for some, it could be a friend. Maybe you're making a new friend. If it's somebody new and, you know, obviously it's not going to go into romance right away, but you know, there's a cultivating, a building, a connecting with another person. Okay. Um, so the energy that plays out with this connection or this phone call, um, definitely someone sexy, warm, and sh a shameless flirt. Okay. Uh, free spirited type of an energy. Uh, I'm not really describing a person, it could, but it's the energy between it's that in between what I feel happening here. Confidence, exciting phone call conversation, charming, very energetic, passionate, um, attraction, physical attraction. Um, and curiosity, asking a lot of questions, talking to each other, maybe making some plans. Um, curiosity, wanting to know you and you wanting to know another person. And it's like with these two pages, you know, this is not a mature energy, even with the Knight of Wands. It's not a mature. This is like at the beginning. This feels like um, the baby stages of getting to know someone. Like I said, this page of wands right here, phone call. So I do feel there's a phone call happening Friday. Um, either you connect with someone or someone you have been connecting. There's a, a, a more enthusiastic kind of conversation I feel like you're gonna have with someone. Maybe you meet someone somewhere and exchange phone numbers and start talking. So it looks like a lot of fun, playful banter back and forth, an energetic conversation, um, something new and exciting here <laughs> between two people. And I, I just kind of feel like there's a drive overall um, to move something forward. Okay, so Friday looks good. Friday looks like there's a spark being made and something beginning here. Okay. Um, now I will say there is one person who, it, now this could be you, this could be the other person. I do feel like there's a little bit of um, push and pull as well, because I feel like there's such enthusiasm to get to know each other. One person may be pushing it 
harder than the other and one might be still open to talking but kind of taking a step back and actually these could be um, you guys kind of play tag with each other, you know, um, it's like kind of like getting your sea legs or feeling each other out. Okay. Um, so whoever this is going to be with, I definitely feel like there's some type of exciting conversation or phone call that's happening Friday. All right. Uh, like I said, it could be Friday evening, Friday afternoon, Friday morning. All right. Let's get into Saturday. How's Saturday going to look for you guys? Oh my God, you've got soulmate. Yes, this is a soulmate. This feels like somebody new. Um, I don't know why it feels like someone new, actually. They just said new. Um, so for some of you, that might be ringing true. This might be a new connection you're making. Okay. Um, let me see. But it's a soulmate connection. Let me see. Yes, this is your soulmate. Calling your soulmate. Oh my gosh. I guess you're meeting your soulmate over the weekend or connecting with them. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Virgo, what a what a reading. Um all right, so once it's confirmed that there is, I feel like, some kind of a spark that gets made, I feel like this is just bleeding throughout the weekend, trickle down kind of energy. I feel like once this um, recognition of a soulmate, there's an energy of, with the Four of Pentacles, yes, this is my soulmate, I am not letting this person go. This is kind of profound for you, Virgo, okay? Now, some of you might be um, already connected with someone. You might already be, in, you know, in a relationship or some kind of connection with someone where confirmation of a soulmate, it's like, it feels like a confirmation. Um, there's no doubt. There's no question. Both people come to this place where it's like, there's no question that this is the person I want to pursue something with. Okay, so that's holding on. This is a holding on kind of energy. Um, it could come from you, could come from the person, it could come from both of you. We do have Capricorn, we have Virgo and Scorpio here. But this is an energy of like, yes, uh, this is my soulmate. I'm holding on to this person. I'm holding on to Virgo, vice versa. I'm not letting go. I'm going to put effort in because I want this. I want this. Per I want Virgo, at least from this person's perspective. Um, with that Knight of Cups, this is the one I'm going to marry. This is the one I, I see happily ever after with, okay? Um, an offer gets made, an invitation of some sort. After a phone call, um, a feeling of attraction, dating. Would you like to date? That kind of thing. If it's like a new, um, for some, it's an offer. and a, um, Somebody comes to realize that this is a soulmate connection. This is the only one for them. And it's like, I'm no, I'm going to, I'm going in. I'm going in for the kill. <laughs> Knight of Cups. I'm committing. I'm making that offer. I'm making that romantic proposal. Um, and this is, I want to marry this person. Or, you know, or just exclusivity together. Like, you're mine. I'm yours. That, that Four of Pentacles is a very, like, possessive. Like, this is, you're mine. Mine. You're all mine. Your face is mine. Your hands are mine. Your kisses are mine. I don't want anyone else to touch you. I'm. I, no one else is touching me. And this is it. You and I together. <laughs> it sounds like a Hallmark story. Hallmark love story. <laughs> Christmas in Colorado. I don't know what's going on here, but this is so far so good. If you're someone who's looking for love and looking for something new, it all starts with a phone call. A phone call gets made over this weekend and then things start taking off. And like I said, we're out of that Mercury retrograde. So, you know, the the the, the, uh, the gates are open now to, to head forward. All right, let's see what's going on Sunday here. Oh my God, you have engagement. What the heck? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Listen, Virgo, <laughs> this is almost scary. Some of you I know might feel like super excited, but this almost borderlines on like scary. Like this is just might even sweep you off your off your feet 
and have you feel like, is this really happening? Am I really meeting this person? I'm going to get into a little description of this person for you just so you can kind of get an idea if you're just like shaking your head. Don't know who this is. But let's see. Engagement. Wow. Two of Wands. Aries energy. Six of Wands. Leo energy. And the Hermit. Virgo with the sun. Some of you might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Okay. Um, wow. So, I mean, this is this is where it's going. Calling a soulmate, recognition of a soulmate, and then this relationship it, it ascending into a higher level of commitment. A decision, this person's choosing you. I feel like this is, you know, if you connect with this person, not just them choosing you, but you choosing them, they recognize. Um, it, it even will go as far as this person saying, um, Let's make it known that we are a couple. Virgo, I kind of feel like for you, of course, you might be a little bit like, hmm, let me just make sure this is good. This is like positive. This is a happy thing, right? Um, I do feel like there'll be a little bit of contemplation about that. Light. Gosh, I feel like it's interesting. Like the Hermit energy is, is can be very cold and dark. And isolating but with the Sun shining down to melting your polar ice caps Virgo I feel like that energy is going to come in with a connection so I guess what they're trying to say is whenever coldness you know if you've been feeling out in the cold or feeling kind of like your emotions are just dry and and cold and there's nothing left I feel like the Sun's gonna come in and just warm everything up for you with this connection with this person um all right let me just I, we gotta see we, we have to know who is this person showing up okay so they gave me three cards okay well for some it's uh aquarius for some it's pisces aquarius or pisces okay if you are completely single, it seems like, and you don't have anyone, you're going to recognize this person coming in as Aquarius or Pisces. So for some, that could be your ex. For, for others, it could be somebody new. Um, so this person comes in very honest, truthful, very communicative, bit chatty, witty, funny, a fair type of a person. Um, they're not critical as in like abusive. They're more constructive with their, they're like selective with their, their, it's constructive criticism. In other words, it's not meant to harm you. It's just meant to reveal um, uh, under the layers of deception to reveal truth. Very strong type of person. It could be very physically strong or just strength in uh, mental, uh, mental strength bit quirky, realistic, objective, discerning kind of a person. Okay, um, candid. This person's quite candid and very protective. Um, also, the energy of this person comes in here is um, very, uh, they sacrifice, they make sacrifices. Um, they might even This person, okay, they're just telling me. All right, a couple of messages here. They're just telling me this person likes someone who um, isn't like a self sabotager. Someone they don't they don't deal with underhanded, sneaky behavior or deception. They absolutely like they don't like that, or anyone that um, lacks communication or is aggressive or or bully or tries to intimidate them. This person, um, it, their energy is like, if, if they may say to you as time goes by, when you meet this person, listen, if you don't want the relationship or you're feeling it different, just tell me and I'll walk away. They don't like to be ghosted. Um, and they don't like people who play games. Okay. Or try to one up them. Um, like, like, try to defeat them or put them down or be abusive or, or mean, okay? I feel this person's 
overall energy when it comes to their emotions is they're quite cheerful. They're looking for fulfillment. They're very optimistic um, when it comes to relationships and um, they seek emotional fulfillment and, and reward. They, they give they give and they expect the same in return from an emotional standpoint. This person, you know, their logic and their, their truthfulness is always present. But when it comes to their deep emotions, like in a romantic relationship, I feel like this person really with that nine likes to have all that energy. They, they love love. They, they're in very, they have very good health. Okay. Um, they like to have their emotional wishes come true. And, you know, there's a very fulfilling energy with this person. Okay. Um, they're pretty high on the emotional intelligence scale, pretty high when it comes to emotions. Like they, in romantic relationships, that becomes the front runner. Like love kissing, love touching, love hugging, very affectionate kind of energy from this person. I think they're, and so when that energy isn't playing out, then in general, they're just, they're very talkative, communicative, and straight to the point, crystal clear about the things that they say. Okay, and this person's they got a pretty good deal of money. Um, they're safe from catastrophes or things like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like they, um, no matter what happens, this person I feel like is well off. Okay, they may be divorced. This person may be divorced. Okay, where is Virgo? No, so there's a, a phone call thing. Right, but I feel like you guys are going to connect somewhere possibly over this weekend. So I want to see where you're going to be connecting with this person. Oh, two cups, yeah. Um, so probably over coffee. I feel like yesterday wasn't yesterday a little bit of a coffee date of some sort. Um, yeah, meeting for drinks, meeting for dinner over the weekend. I feel let me see now. So it's definitely going to happen beginning Friday, definitely. Um, there might be several meetings with this person, you connecting with this person, connecting with them in person between like from now until the end of the month. It's not just one, but the first, the first meeting might be somewhere out at a park. I feel like it'll be in the daytime. You'll, you'll connect with this person, maybe if... For some of you, I don't know if it's meeting somebody new um, or if it's connecting with someone you're already connected with, but there's kind of an outside get together, um, drinks, coffee, maybe some beers, uh, possibly dinner, that kind of thing. Okay. All right. The devil. Oh, and then, oh, there's definitely going to be a very strong physical attraction. <laughs> And I do feel like that physical attraction will cause both of you to want to just kind of come together like right away. But there's a little bit of hesitancy about that because I feel like it's a first meet. So maybe you will be more along the lines of like, nah, not right away. <laughs> um, you both might decide that or somebody might be thinking like, oh, when is the right time to jump Virgo's bones? <laughs> I said jump bones. Does anybody say that anymore? I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> All right, let me just take a look here. I love this. This is a nice weekend reading. Lots of fun here. Lots of fun. Okay, let's see. What are the love messages? Love messages for Virgo. Um... Okay, healing. Oh, wow. So I feel like this relationship is going to be very healing for you. Um, it's going to help you heal from something. Okay. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And for some of you, this connection will bring up or might trigger some of those old wounds or childhood things that um, you'll just need to revisit and recognize and pay attention to and deal with as they come up. Okay, let's see. Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So you know, Virgo, I don't know. 
some of you might be very excited about connecting with this person. You know, um, some of you might be a little bit hesitant if you're not ready. Um, you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do, but I do feel like there's somebody, a soulmate of some sort coming into your life over this weekend for a particular reason. And, and it might have something to do with helping you heal from something in the past. Somebody fills in those gaps and those voids where the love should have been. Somebody brings you love, okay? Definitely. And that can be very healing. Okay. Strictly sexualist connection is passionate but not enduring. Um, I feel like that's more of a fear, okay? Um, now, some of you, and, you know, don't shoot the messenger, some of you might not be ready for, it's, it's a shame to say it, but it, it does happen in life. Sometimes people are not ready for a deep emotional relationship. They're okay with it being strictly sexual because... That's a way to get close without having to be vulnerable, right? Even though it is one of the most vulnerable acts when you're unzipping your pants. I mean, you're showing your body, but your body is your body. But the deepest fears, people are very protective of themselves, okay? So just be mindful of that energy right there, that strictly sexual card. It might just be a choice, okay? Um, or it might feel like it's the most predominant thing that shows up first, this attraction, because that devil card was there. Um, don't be discouraged. Attraction is a part of all of this. Um, so there might be a little bit of fear of this person. Just be, if you've had that happen to you before where somebody wanted you just for sex, or you felt like that way, um, you might just be kind of like, oh, no, here we go again, right? So just be mindful. Um, nobody can do that to you if you don't let them. So don't allow, don't allow anyone to do that until you're ready. Um, play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So try more so maybe if you have any fears meeting somebody new or starting a new relationship that you're physically attracted to. Um, try to focus more on finding time to laugh and goof off with each other. Right? And to just keep it like Virgo. Keep it cool. Stay cool, Virgo. <laughs> I'll see what else. Okay, yeah, keep your boundaries up. That's all. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I feel like your reading is, is very positive for the weekend. Usually when I do these readings, a lot of different messages show up. But this soulmate stuff, a phone call, recognition of a soulmate, and a relationship progressing seems to be speaking all of one event that's happening here for you. And I feel like this is something... For some of you that may not be ready for it, and here it comes. And for others, you're ready for it, and here it comes. Okay, so let me see what your moon messages are. Okay, this just flew out. Confidence is key to your success. Okay. Confidence is key to your excess, to your success. When I say your excess, <laughs> be confident have confidence. A new romantic cycle is definitely beginning here for you over this weekend. Now, also be mindful that if you go through this entire weekend and um, nothing happens, you know, love just doesn't always fall out of the sky. Sometimes you got to position yourself to receive love. It's not always about seeking it, but positioning yourself to receive the highest energy of love, right? So if you're in your house you're sitting watching Netflix all weekend or, you know, House of the Dragon or whatever it is. You, you're, you're glued to the TV and you're not socializing. It, your chances of meeting someone, I mean, who the hell do you think you are? Your chances of meeting someone are, are very, very slim. Unless you consider Amazon dropping your packages off or the neighbor who's uh, 50 years older than you walking their dog and you just happen to bump into them. Romantic cycles, I can't bring you a lover, right? <laughs> I can't. I can tell you the energy that may show um, or is predicted to show if you get yourself out there, okay? So if you do and this still doesn't happen, well, it may not be your reading, and that's okay because we just take it in stride. Remember, take what fits, leave the rest. I just want to get an island time card. Come on. 
there's a card showing up here. Oh, no, that's my fault. These were, these were put in and they didn't shuffle properly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's see what these Island Time card messages are here for you. What else does Virgo need to know for the weekend? For the weekend. Okay, you have the butterfly. Beautiful. So relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Virgo, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <clears throat> are you ready? Are you ready to rumble, Virgo? Because there's somebody, there are opportunities coming. Are you ready to take this opportunity? I mean, you might just have to close your eyes, hold your nose, and jump in the water here. If you're not, or if you're fearful, or if you're hesitant. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but if you're ready, here it is. You know, seize the day, Virgo. Don't miss the opportunities that come to you. Because if they, if they come and you miss it, don't kick yourself. Just recognize how valuable opportunities are that when they come, you jump on them. So let me just pull it. All right. I just, they just said, get a couple of more. Um, I just want to say someone hopes that you can forgive them also. Someone hopes that you can forgive them for past indiscretions or past problems. Let me see the Chinese side. You or this person, um, or and, and just so you know, there might be a small percentage of you that this is a reconciliation situation. Overall, you know, on a scale from one to ten, like nine of you are getting somebody new here. I really don't see this a reconciliation happening with someone from your past. This feels like all new, and this feels like an energy from yesterday. Okay, that new start. All right, year of the dragon, year of the horse, a year of the monkey, year of the rat, year of the ox, double ox, okay, year of the snake, year of the tiger, and year of the rooster, okay. So if that's your ex person, well, then you're it's not your ex. I, I just, it might be. But like I said, I don't feel like it's someone from your past. I'm not picking up any past energy here, really. This feels like all new. If you need more clarification, listen to yesterday's video that I uploaded. There's also an extended reading to that. Okay. Um, and... But yeah, I, I mean, Virgo, I just feel like this is a very positive message for your weekend. So whatever you're doing, it all starts with a phone call. This whole thing starts with a phone call. All right, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I know it was a little bit short, but I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And hopefully I will have my microphone in tonight. So Sunday, we'll have a nice, good, clear, crisp reading. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Sorry about yesterday. It was a little bit staticky. All right, you guys, so happy weekend, and I will catch up with you Sunday for your singles reading. All right, you guys, love you. I'll see you.